Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I have a super jam-packed decluttering and organizing video for you guys. I organized and decluttered five different spaces around my house. I did all of our documents. I did our hall closet, our above the laundry area. I hit our living room desk and our junk drawer. So if that is interesting, and it definitely is, I am showing everything on display, all the messes around my house. There's nothing to hide. So make sure you stick around because I will be sharing some of my best decluttering tips along the way. But we are gonna start out with organizing all of our important documents. And this filing cabinet was sent to me by Yida Home, so thank you Yida Home for sending this. I was so thrilled when they reached out to me because I had been looking all over for a filing cabinet and none of them really fit our style. None of them looked like they belonged in a home. It was more like they looked like they belonged in an office space or something like that and none of them really fit what we were going for but then they showed me this beautiful filing cabinet and I was like that is absolutely perfect that looks like it belongs in a home it's very beautiful very stylish so i am very grateful for that and it comes with a lock so we can lock up all of those important documents because we definitely don't want people getting into those or our daughter getting into those and tearing anything up or pulling anything and unfiling what we've done so that is really exciting and as you can see it came built which was amazing because i was so scared that i would have to build something and as you know i'm not the best at that that's why i had matt on hand but all he had to do was put on the wheels and then it was already done which is amazing so if you are like me and you're not good at building this is the one for you and we ended up putting this filing cabinet in our bedroom, which was also really exciting because we also got a printer to go in our bedroom. So that is brand new as well and it fits our cute little printer perfectly fine. I was concerned that it wouldn't, but it's not too big, but it's also not too small that it wouldn't fit our printer on it. So it's also very functional if you want to use it as a tabletop. You don't even have to put a printer on it. You can put anything on it. I thought about putting a vase on it, to be honest, but then I got smart and realized I can put my printer on it. So it is multifunctional. But as you can see right now, Matt and I are going through all of our documents and we're sorting them into piles so that we can label our little folders because our filing cabinet has something where we can hang folders, which is amazing. So much easier to organize and file and see everything. I always wanted something like that, but I couldn't find one. My parents have something like that, so I think that's just what I saw growing up, and that's what I like. But it makes it so much easier if you pre-sort into these little piles first before you do anything else, because then you know what you need to make labels for. That's actually what I'm doing right now, and then Matt is putting the labels on to the little folders, if you can see there. And then we will show you when we are all done. But this took like 30 minutes, and I wish that it would take this long it's youtube magic guys i swear but it did take a little bit longer than i thought but we were able to do it during nap time that's why we are in different outfits because we actually needed to run out and get files because we didn't have them but since we did there's going to be a lot of switching around switching outfits this took me two days to do because decluttering is just such a big process but i am so glad that it's over and i think you're really going to love this video i know that it's so satisfying to watch back and also i'm so grateful to matt for helping out and we got this perfectly organized. I'm so happy with the end result. And I'm going to show you here. Look how beautiful that is. It's just like this nice neutral wood. And there are really deep drawers on it. And Yida Home is offering a discount if you use my code in the description. No pressure, of course. You know that I don't do that whole pressure thing. But it really does go and help with my fun stuff that I do with my daughter, like gymnastics and dance. But now we are moving on to our hall closet and this was a doozy, guys. I swear there was so much in here and it was just all jammed. I hadn't organized this at all since we moved in and even when we moved in, I didn't really organize it at all. I was just trying to get into the house and settled. And don't worry because I'm gonna be doing a tour when I'm all done and have everything organized. I'll be going through and showing you what's kind of in which basket. It's so hard to show when I'm filming this because I'm just trying to get it done. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the most functional. And that is another tip that I have. Don't worry about beauty. It's always function over beauty. Go for function. If it's not Pinterest worthy, that is fine. There is no need for it to be Pinterest worthy if it still works. But if it doesn't work and it's aesthetically beautiful, then you really got nowhere because then nothing's gonna get put back where it 
is supposed to go and everything's just gonna get tossed back in there. So that's why I say favor the function. Do you guys like my little YouTube trick I did there? It's always so fun to do stuff like that. But right now I am working on our home improvement basket and this is more Matt's domain. Honestly, I'm really bad at projects and stuff. So I tried to sort it as best as I could, but then I went back later and there is a basket that I left empty next to it and I ended up expanding into it. I put some of the tools there and I put my command hooks there that I actually use all the time to hang stuff. So it's kind of, it kind of ended up being a hybrid of both of our stuff. And I know that I need to get more for my first aid basket, which is right there. Now that my toddler is getting to the point where she jumps off of things all day, every day, and falls off of things most of the time, I try to stop her when I can, but you know how it is if you're a mom of toddlers. They just end up getting hurt somehow. And talking about my toddler, I totally realized that I just forgot to introduce myself in the beginning of my video. Hi, my name is Bella and I am the mom of one and I make homemaking videos like this on YouTube. And I'm always forgetting to introduce myself because I count you guys as my friends and I don't introduce myself to my friends every time I see them. So I forget to do it in the beginning of my videos. If you've been here for a while, you totally know that. But I am the mom of one little girl who is entering her terrible twos half a year early. I swear she's jumping off of everything. I'm trying to ask her nicely not to and she does it anyway. Mom life. So if any of you veteran moms have first aid product advice, let us all know in the comments because a lot of my viewers are first time moms too and I know that we would all appreciate it. So right now I'm sorting our kind of catch-all basket and it really was a catch-all basket. Some of my little sister's stuff was in there. We had stuff from Halloween still in there. So if you have a catch-all basket in your hall closet, you are not alone. But now that everything is out of the closet, I wanted to take the opportunity to wipe down our shelves because sometimes things can fall on them and they can get kind of dusty and kind of gross. So it's always good when you have stuff out of your closets for any reason that you go ahead and just quickly wipe them down. Now to start the process of filling it back in, some of the stuff I'm putting in baskets and just seeing how they would fit best spatially wise. I do this more over the washer and dryer, but here I'm doing a little bit of it too. That's why some baskets are still empty because it's always good to leave some so that you have room to expand into when new categories come up or if you need to make different spaces and you need to switch things around, it's always good to have some open space and some open baskets on hand to do that. And I was so happy with how little time it took me to actually do this and also kind of disappointed in myself because I always spend so much time stressing out about it instead of actually doing it. And that is another tip, just try to start. Even if you don't get it all done right away, it's still better to start because then you'll see just how quick you can actually get through it. All right, I'm just gonna do like a quick little tour because I know that I really didn't explain much as I went. This is for me, it's for my back because as a lot of you know, I have sciatica, so I have like a heating pad and stuff. Um, this is like random parts. I actually have some um, curtain hangers in this and that's kind of for random stuff like that. That's her sunscreen I put it up there because we're not gonna be going to the beach for a little while since it is January. This one's empty, but this one holds my cleaners that I don't use all the time. Same thing with this. I clean my house a lot and with different things, so I need two bins to do it. This one, I have little washcloths, and here's where we keep our towels. That We call that the home improvement basket, but it's like a drill. There's a drill in there. There's some screwdrivers and stuff like that. These two are empty, but I have plans for them. I just don't have stuff for them. This is first aid and I'm gonna be getting more. We need to restock our first aid. Ignore this, this is just here until I can go to storage. It's some fall cleaners and stuff. This one's empty, but here's our cat treats and our cat food. And here's some more stuff for Lauren down here, like her litter and stuff like that. 
And then I put our paper towels, not our paper towels, yeah, our paper towels. <laughs> Sorry guys, right here. So I know it's not like super Pinterest, but it definitely works and it looks a ton better. I'll put the before and after here. Now I'm moving into our laundry area and I am very grateful that we have so much shelving above our washer and dryer but sometimes I don't know what to do with it. That's why some of the stuff isn't organized the best it could be and I decided that it was definitely time to pull everything out so that I can just rethink the entire space and I'm really happy with the results and I will explain along the way how I'm kind of doing it but this end that I'm working on right here I wanted it to be more of a cleaning slash important stuff like not so important that it would need to go into our filing cabinet but important enough that I want to know where it is like manuals and instruction manuals and stuff like that so I wanted to pull everything out because I had some laundry stuff on this side and as you can see I had tissue paper boxes up there that I wanted to grab and get down so that I could relocate them to the closet and they actually fit really nicely in there. And then I kept the attachments for our cordless shark vacuum in there because it works really nicely. But now I'm moving on to the laundry side and I ended up doing that thing where I put the baskets in first to see how it can all look organized and then I started to fill the baskets in. And again, I'll go through at the end and give you a little tour so that you know what I did along the way. But some of those baskets were left empty and I have some ideas but I don't have the stuff for them. So they're gonna be left empty for a little while, but I'll probably come back in a future video and share with you what I ended up doing. But as you can see, I'm putting baskets in and I'm gonna sort into, look at that big pile. I'm gonna sort all of that into their respective baskets. And this, is, this was just a huge pile to sort through and I was really intimidated by it at first, but I just started to do one thing at a time and put things into littler piles. So that is a tip from me. If you see something really overwhelming, just start sorting into their respective groups. Make everything disappear. You play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the picture sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. all right so i did do some of this off camera sorry if you can hear um any noises matt and kennedy are playing in her room so these two top baskets up here um i put decor that we don't need right now there's like some halloween and stuff up there and then some stuff for I've kind of stashed away for a second nursery when that time comes. In here I put some like fabric sprays and scent boosters. Those are our bleach packs. These two are empty but I again have some plans. Here's our little laundry pods and our scent beads. And I have kind of our bottles of stuff right there. And my idea was to keep this side laundry because I put Sorry guys. So up there in that one is, it's like for Kennedy's room, it's like a light, but that's the box for it in case we ever have to pack it up. Those are empty up there. These are some light bulbs and I put some manuals and stuff in there that we might need to access, but we don't need to access all the time. In there is some cleaning stuff. It's mainly stuff for our robot vacuum in the kitchen. I put our little mop pods here and then that is a feather duster that I can use to reach up to the ceiling fan. Here I have dryer balls. It's actually, I'm probably going to switch it with the one there since that is laundry. And then this is stuff for our shark vacuum. Over here isn't the most organized but it's Christmas stuff that just has to stay there because it's bigger stuff and I have our mop there. And then over here I have another part to our baby gate and our step ladder. 
And then I decided that I'm gonna keep our laundry basket on top of the dryer. Now I am moving on to our kitchen's junk drawer and look at this doozy, my dear friends. Can you believe that after promising myself I wouldn't let a junk drawer accumulate in my kitchen, I let a junk drawer accumulate in my kitchen. And I know that a lot of people have these drawers. Maybe you have a few drawers like this and I'm going to encourage you to get ahead of it before it even gets to this level and just maybe once a week just go through and just declutter it and reorganize that's what I'm gonna start doing and I will report back on my progress but don't let your house end up like this and the beauty of getting ahead of stuff like this is sometimes you don't even need to throw anything away you just need to straighten things up and I'm hoping that that's what it will be like for the rest of our time living here that I can really keep this drawer in order encouragement is definitely appreciated also if you end up decluttering a space around your house make sure you take a before and after picture and make sure that you tag me because then i can share it with the rest of our community and we can applaud your hard work because i know that it can be a little bit mentally taxing and draining to declutter but then you feel so much better after so we can definitely encourage you and uplift you on that Now I'm just going to share some of our before and after pictures from earlier in this video just to remind you how far I got in such a short amount of time and honestly it's for you guys because I always think about how I can encourage and uplift you guys as I'm filming these videos and you really motivate me so I want to say thank you for just being here and being amazing and being you. Organizing our homes is just so important for our families and for ourselves and I notice all the work that you're doing as a home maker and a stay-at-home mom. I know that most of my channel is stay-at-home moms, but anyone here, if you're decluttering your home, even if you're the only one living there, good for you because it really does help your mental health. I will see you back here on Tuesday for another homemaking video, but until then, have a great day, beauties.